So I have been asked several times how hard is it to load and unload the truck camper. So I am unloading the truck camper and it is going to sit here for approximately six to nine months. <laughs> Unload it and I'll show you the problem or not the problem but it's where it gets difficult this arm moves out and I'm gonna do that here so you pick it up and turn it but the problem is is I call that my hips my hips stick out and there is only about not even a half inch so I have to take this very, very slow. So it's not difficult. It's just very time consuming. These are called fast guns and they are fast. Let me unload, unlock this. And then you just pull this up releases it from the truck. My jacks are hydraulic so I have this control and I activate it by this little button right here which it's activated. It's kind of temperamental though. I would give you that because it doesn't want to Extend. E means extend. Here we go. And my problem is I don't know where the sensor, I guess the sensor to the jack is. So, and I extend all of them at the same time. See how it just stops? I'm not exactly sure where the sensor is for this thing. Then I can do them individually if one if they get closer. Yeah, I'm gonna start doing them individually because it's getting close. Okay. So what I have to make sure that I do here is also put the boards on the very tip. Because that tire and that board is gonna be really close. And these back here don't matter. Okay, I have it raising all of them at the same time. Looks like the front's coming up a little more than the back. Then I get under here and see if it's cleared and it looks like it has. But I may raise the back just a little bit more. Okay, we're not touching there. Okay, and then I'll see if we're touching back here. Nope, which is good. And we're off the bed there. That's good. Everything looks good on this side. Let's see if I'm touching here. Yeah, I am a little bit. That may be a problem. One thing I forgot to do is undo the light.
the problem. This little piece, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, this little piece right here, see I have room on each side. I can get my hand in there. Well, on the other side, it's rubbing. You know, that's just months and months and months of being on. Now, I hadn't torn anything up, but this side is rubbing. So what I'm trying to do is shift my back in just enough to uh, put it from rubbing here. But as you can see, we're getting really close here. That's the hard part. That's the clearance I have on this side, and I have a little less on the other side, which I'm doing good here. I'm still touching, but I'm not um, doing any damage there. Let me show you over here. That's all the clearance that I have. So it just takes inch, inch, inch to put it that's why I don't take it on and off. Let's see what we look like here. See, we're good here. But, like I said, I just inch it, and then I get out and I look. You know, it just takes just a little time. And I'll show you this side. Okay, so it's not touching in the back anymore. But, yeah, if I start going over just a little bit that way, I think we'll be good. I took this side off once or this piece because it gets I'll show you this little piece right here gets caught let me show you the truck this is the issue it's wide here but then this sticks out so this is where I'm always getting caught and that's where I pulled that piece off before but it's off I lower it and level it and it'll be good Ooh. sure hope it doesn't fall off that it moved, it moved 
forward. Okay, I'm leaving my truck in storage. I've disconnected, oop, disconnected both the leads on both batteries. I have a battery there. I have a battery there. I'm gonna leave the hood open.